Hi, this is Rahul Kapoor and welcome back to a podcast number two on the topic, Build Your Network. Today, we're going to talk about how to develop and maintain a good contact. Well, first things first, whenever you meet someone, introduce yourself in a pleasant and a friendly manner. I always keep saying that a smile can be an absolutely fantastic way to get started. And when you smile, look into the person's eyes straight out into his or her eyes and then smile. Now, I know if you're an extrovert, it's easy for you. If you're an introvert, you might find it difficult, but just do it. It might take you a little time. You'll get used to it. And when you're comfortable, it's going to start giving you amazing magical results. And when you want to introduce yourself to someone, do it in as little as about 100 to 120 seconds. We call this the elevator speech. In case you want some more insights about that, I'm going to create one more podcast for you. But really, what I'm trying to say is that share with the other person whatever you want to share about yourself, about your work, your USB, all of that in 100 to 120 seconds. Now, a business card, that very, very powerful tool, right, isn't it? Because that's the only one which captures all your details and the other person's detail. And if you exchange the card, it means to say that you have a, a, a way of connecting with the person after you've met him. Now, I have this personal technique. I never, ever pull out the card and just give it away to the person when I meet him. I always use this phrase. I tell the person, can I present my card to you? And it makes it so easy. You know, most people will definitely say yes. So you pull out the card and you hand it over to him with using both your hands, bowing down a little bit with respect and give the card. Now, more often than not, the other person will also give you his or her card. And if they don't, you can always ask them, can I have your card as well, please? And when you get the card, it's easy. If the person says, I don't have a card, then don't forget to take the person's phone number down or an email ID, something which will help you to reconnect with him. Otherwise, that contact is as good as lost. Right, so once you have exchanged the cards, now it is time for you to build a conversation. Now, I always tell people not to jump straight into business. It's good to just be a nice observer. If you find something which is worthwhile, something which is interesting, a common interest that kind of came by, a nice watch, maybe a nice little frame, uh, an interesting way of dressing. And if you wish to compliment the person, do that. And then follow it up by asking some open-ended questions. Once you make the person speak, you've almost like won, right? I mean, you've got him conversing with you. You got him into talking. And that's how you're going to build a rapport. The next one is that always remember not to be pushy. Some people who believe that networking is all about going out there, meeting a person and then sticking to him like a leech and getting what you want. I think that's an absolutely flawed philosophy. Never, ever do that. Building relationships is the key to building network. And you can't build relationships if you only want to go out there and ask the person that I want this and I want that. Don't do that. What I think is important is allow conversations to build. You can always mention what your interests are, but don't even go out there asking for what you want initially. Just be there, maintain the relationship. If you find an opportunity that the other person is in some kind of a need or support, now exactly what's happening in your brain, right? You're actually out there building network because you need something. But Play the game in the reverse manner. If you find that the person needs something, if he needs some kind of support, if you can be of help in some way, do it immediately and don't even expect anything back in return. That's the key. Can you just do something for the other person? It's called the giver's gain. Yes, the giver's gain. If you're going to give something to someone, chances are the person is going to reciprocate either immediately or a little later and make sure that he helps you too. And that's an important, important thing to do. The next one is how do you nurture the relationship? I always believe that you have to have some kind of a follow up process that makes you stand out from the crowd. I do many things. For example, whenever I have a visiting card after the meeting is over, I have a pen or pencil and on the back side of the card, I make some notes about this person, where I met him, what are the things that I observed. So it becomes easy for me to kind of be in touch and do some follow ups if Let's say I get to figure out that he he loves cricket and if I have some interesting anecdotes or jokes or anything on cricket, maybe some nice trivia, I can always pass it on. Remember, I'm still not talking business. I'm just building a relationship here. That's the key. Uh, I also have another strategy, uh, you know, something which is 
It could be a small gift. It could be a nice book. I sometimes take uh, visiting card holders and I imprint people's names on that and gift it to them. It becomes a very personalized thing, isn't it? I mean, it helps you to stick in the person's brain. Now, you don't want to give an expensive gift and, and pass on the wrong message. Sometimes it is also considered unethical so don't get there but small things that make a difference if it's an important person you might just want to take a selfie and after some time send the selfie back and say hey it was great meeting you so these are the ways in which you can stand out from the crowd and finally remember it is so 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 important to get into some kind of follow-up communication process using emails, calls, SMSs, WhatsApp messaging, social media. It could be anything. Uh, some of the easiest way is by asking the person a question about a particular topic that you believe that he is good in and you are kind of seeking some kind of advice. Wherever the conversation begins, wherever the person believes that he is contributing to you in some sense, he's adding value to you in some sense, there will be the subconscious mind that's going to help you to build a network and that really is the approach for you to get into developing and maintaining a contact and once you have the contact going whenever you feel it's appropriate for you to ask for help ask for business you should do it don't hesitate that's the whole purpose of building a network you should ask for what you want but wait build a network first build a relationship first and then build your business and that's how you're going to make your network equal to your net worth. This is podcast number two on the topic how to build your network. I'm hoping that you're enjoying this. I'm hoping that you're trying these techniques and I'm hoping that you're going to build a great network for yourself and have a great career ahead as well. Thank you very much. This is Rahul Kapoor. Until the next time, you take care of yourselves.